With these two tricks I'm about to show you, you don't need to know anything at all. You don't have to become some prompt engineer or know how to do anything fancy to generate some really amazing AI images, but it's going to give you a lot of keywords, descriptions, and characteristics that you can use now and for all of your future images that you generate moving forward. Leonardo AI is getting better and better. But the most important part of this whole entire process is organization. I highly recommend that you start to develop and create a database that house all of your prompts. Get access to hundreds of prompts plus the ultimate prompts database. Just click the links in the description. I personally use Airtable and Canva and I'll show you exactly how I do that as well in this video. This is my Airtable Mega Prompts database. It contains about 2,100 prompts right now. It's gonna have everything from SEO, content creation prompts, etc. So right now I'm what's in what's called a gallery view. So if you look at the top of my page right here, I have all these tabs. Up here in the top left hand corner, I have SEO prompts, then act as prompts, content creation, and right now I'm on AI art prompts. I can come in here and then quickly copy and paste the actual prompt like this, and then just replace the keywords. But then again, on the left hand side are what's called views. These views are going to be what's called filters. As you keep going and going down, I basically have a category for every single thing imaginable. Now this is going to really stand out for exactly what we're doing today. So if we look at this prompt right here, that looks like this purple eye. This is pretty cool. I want to use this prompt for a lot of other things moving forward. How could I maintain the same certain style in this element, but not get an eyeball every time? Okay, so what I did was I looked at this image, I liked the way it looks, and then here is the prompt that was used right here. The important keywords are going to be glowing, pastel purple phosphorus essence we're not going to use eyeball and then simple silhouette black background what i did in leonardo ai was i used the same exact prompt but then i just replaced eyeball with something else and then if we head over to leonardo ai itself look what this gave me right here so with this organizational structure i'm able to make this same sort of image by using a prior prompt now this isn't one of the actual tricks i just want to show you the importance of being able to have a structure or an organized database for all the prompts you'll be making with these two methods. The other method I like to use, if you don't have access to Airtable or don't want to sign up, Canva is completely free. And I love to make Canva eBooks because I can split this eBook up into a grid view because you can look at these certain sort of prompts and designs that were made and then use these keywords over and over again. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is let me show you one of the easiest things to do in Leonardo AI. On the top left-hand corner, right where it says type your prompt, on the left-hand side, you'll notice these two dice. Click that. Let's just go ahead and start with new random prompt. Just select that. It's going to give you a completely different, sometimes completely out of left field sort of prompt. Now, to do this method, my favorite fine-tuned model is going to be Albedo Base XL, and I love to use it with Dynamic. And so let's go ahead and then select Generate right here, and then we're going to see what this can come up with. So for an example, I'm going to open up this one right here. It's a little bit creepy, but other than the way that it looks, the appearance, the visuals, the colors, it looks awesome. Now this was done with the random prompt, and I really like this a lot. So what I did was, when I took the random prompt, I went ahead and I just selected Copy Prompt right here. Now I noticed, in the actual prompt itself, there were some really specific keywords I had to use in order to get this sort of image right here. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I liked it, but I didn't want to actually have this actual image. What I wanted to have was something that looked more or less like this one right here. So I wanted to have a little bit of a different image. I didn't want that crazy looking afterlife looking character. I wanted something that's going to be more human like. And so in this case, I used that same exact prompt. I used the random prompt generator, and then I just simply replaced a few keywords. And with that said, I was able to get this human king, but notice the comparison, same visual effects, same color scheme and same sort of like magical glow. So then I took some of the keywords that I had in this prompt, I broke them up even more, and then I was able to create this image right here. So from utilizing Leonardo AI's random prompt generator, I got a prompt I really didn't like, but I also got some specific keywords that I wanted to keep and maintain for future use, all while maintaining the same exact color scheme. Now, look at these prompt details right here. Bio Symphonic Fiber Optique. I have no idea how to even pronounce these words, but since these words were used in this random prompt generator, I just took them, copied and pasted them, changed up some keywords, and I was able to get this image right here. So now I'm able to maintain a really cool purplish, bluish gradient color scheme with that luminescent glow in the background, all from an image I didn't like to begin with, but just because the image wasn't good doesn't mean the prompt wasn't. If you like the style of the image, still keep it, just 
change the keywords, here's the one I made for just a random prompt generator where it's creating this VR headset for me. Now, this looks very cool. I like this. I might not want to use it, but let's just say for an example, I kind of like the background and sort of the visual effect that this created, but I don't want to have somebody wearing VR goggles. We're going to go ahead and then just copy this prompt right here. So then the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to our database on where we're housing all these prompts, okay? I'm going to go ahead and then paste that prompt. I'm going to go back over here to Leonardo AI and I'm going to go ahead and then just simply download this image. Once the image is downloaded, you could see that I'm going to drag it in here right now over here into my database. I tagged it with Leonardo AI and now I can look at this prompt actually created this image for me. And then let's figure out to ourselves what do we need to change to leave things that we like but then remove things we don't like. I just replaced VR headset but then this time I replaced it with the word crown instead. And then paste that prompt in. Here is what it was able to make for us right here. So it took off the VR headset. I got the image of a woman wearing a crown but everything, the visual aesthetic is completely the same, but now instead of wearing a VR headset, I got this crown. So I'm gonna remove this prompt right here and I'm gonna hit this dice button again and now I'll do new random prompt once more. Here's one thing, now this prompt is done. Now look at this right here. Look at the first sentence right here. This sentence is amazing because to be quite honest with you, off the top of my head, I don't think I'd be able to just put this sentence together. Okay, let's just go ahead and then hit generate and then see what this actually makes for us. Okay, wow, now check this out. Now that this is done, look at these images we got from this prompt right here. This is amazing. This is a boat, it looks like. Just download them all and then again, upload them in your database. Okay, so now let's try our next step. Let's go ahead and then actually give it a specific subject. And we're gonna see if this can make the same sort of image keeping everything maintained, but this time and replace this cruiser with a supercar. And then there you have it. There it is, it did a great job. Look at this. It maintained everything pretty much straightforward throughout. It even has those gradient rays coming off and extending from the front and back. If I go back to the first one, here's the first one right here. And then here is the final and third one right here. So then I would download this image here and then copy and paste this prompt as well to remind myself I can create anything that's similar to this cruiser or this supercar just by replacing a few simple keywords. But then the important thing is, is that now you have a consistent prompt moving forward that will maintain the characteristics. Okay, so now let's move on to perhaps my favorite part of this. This is gonna be trick number two. So I'm back over here in my Airtable database. Now this time I am in my AI art styles. And the reason why this is so important is because with this next trick, all we're gonna do is just type in one word. All you have to do now is just find a keyword that you like that produced a cool looking image and then just copy and paste one word up here into Leonardo AI. Photo luminescence. I just have that one keyword typed in. Now what you're gonna wanna do is select this dice button right here. Select improve prompt, and then it's gonna give us something that makes this prompt so much better. It might not be the subject we like, but again, we're gonna use it over and over again. Now here we go, look at this. Photo luminescence, the phenomenon of a material emitting light after absorbing photons. Let's just hit generate and then see what this can come up with. So just to give you an example of what I was able to make earlier today, I was able to make this beautiful looking 3D bioluminescent image of this flower simply by just typing in one word. So just by typing in that, so what you would do is copy the prompt and then replace it with another keyword instead. So if we go back up, here is what it created for us right here. Okay, photoluminescence, one keyword, not my favorite. So what we're going to do now is just try again, paste in photoluminescence again, and then it looks like this time we actually got a real subject. Okay, cool. We got a delicate flower glowing. Let's try this one now instead. Here it is. Here is our flower. This was created beautifully just by simply typing in one word, photoluminescence, and then utilizing improved prompt. So if we like the way this looks, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and copy this prompt. And then remember, we also want to put it in our database that we can use for future reference. So I'm going to replace a delicate flower with a butterfly. Replace petals with uh, wings instead. So you'll want to just go ahead and proofread this prompt to make sure it makes sense. Okay, so now while that's waiting, you can see up here at the top, I did the same thing, improved prompt, but this time I selected and pasted bioluminescence lighting. But before we do that, here are the images it made of this butterfly. Pretty good job here. Look at that. Good looking butterfly. Okay. Now let's go ahead and then generate this prompt for a bioluminescent lighting one. We'll do that one. And then while this one's waiting, I'll do one more and I'll use glowing radioactivity, improve prompt, and then let's hit generate once we see what sort of image it's gonna create for us. Let's go ahead and then change this up and add actual subject. Oh, well, before we finish that prompt, here is this one for bioluminescent lighting. Now this looks fantastic. This is beautiful. And I can go over each one and this looks quite impressive. So I love the way these images look, specifically the gradient effects and the way the 
colors blend together. This is one I would definitely download and use and then replace some keywords. Now, let's go back to the one we were just working on, glowing display of radioactivity. I'm gonna showcase a vivid and beautiful woman. These look fantastic. Let's take a closer look. Look at that right there, beautiful. So glowing radioactivity, I love the way these look. And then don't forget, you could keep these images just as such, and if I wanted to have a different color of lighting, again, you could just specify in the prompt, orange, red, blue, or a different type of glow. So hopefully these two simple methods can help you craft some really cool and creative prompts in Leonardo AI. But thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.